Welcome to Vlogmas 3, reporting to you live from the Cowardly Lion. Put him up. Oh, pulling an axe on me, hey? Why do I look like the Cowardly Lion? I thought with you with one hand behind my back. I fight you with one paw tied behind my back. That's the best I can do. Good morning and welcome back to Vlogmas Week 3. I can't believe it. I am actually in panic mode because I realize I haven't gotten any Christmas shopping done. Well, I've been making things and a lot of the things I make are going to be gifts. Spoiler. We're going to open the advent. I like to start it off like that, I, th I think is what it is because honestly, I've been staring at it for days. For you, if you're watching these consecutively, it wasn't that long ago, but for me, it's been forever. So we're going to open up two on this side and then we'll save this one for later this week as we do i feel like a nail product is going to be in here we haven't gotten an eyeshadow yet i'm wearing the brown liner so anyway get ready we're gonna do seven first that's a full-size lipstick dang i wish i had thought about that wow this is okay i thought everything was gonna be kind of like you know small oh wow it's kind of pretty i've i was wearing like a cream gloss and a lipstick today i'm wearing you guys it's disgusting it's absolutely disgusting don't judge me i'm not recommending it but i'm wearing the oldest lipstick i've had this mariah carey edition it's it's uh, was it Christmas that this came out? It's when everything went real blingy and I worked at Mac when this was released and so I was able to get my hands on it because otherwise you just wouldn't have gotten it. It sold out so fast. The Mariah Carey Mac collab. I say they should bring this back. This is the darling, the darling lipstick. I've been really hoarding it. I'm really careful not to like over use it. This also had a butterfly embossed into the front of it. I think this is like 10 years old and I just really wanted to wear this color today and I probably won't put this on again for another year. So just know today I'm wearing it and then it's going to go back on the MAC makeup uh, collector's shelf of makeup that I have that's old. It's shaped like the blush was. Guarantee you it's the eyeshadow. It's not. This looks like a highlight. Ah, oh, it is a highlighter. It says it on the front, dum-dum. <laughs> I looked at the back first, to my credit. This is what's weird too. The right side seems to be warmer tones. That's kind of weird. Cause this is a, for, you know how like I was saying on the other side, the blush was for like really, really pale skin basically. Uh, and then what else, uh, the gloss, just all these things are for really light skin. But this is a deep gold deeper gold if you're opening this right now and swatching it what do you think oh my god easily impressed sienna here she comes easily impressed sienna but you know what this reminds me of it reminds me of this see it's got that kind of same can you see this is really like really glowy you know what i'm gonna whip this baby back out i'm gonna wear this but this reminds me of that same kind of deeper gold and uh, it's pretty. So today, my husband and I have some Christmas shopping to do together. We have to get some stuff for the weekend coming up. We have family stuff coming up. We It's gonna be exciting actually. Let's get this day going and I need to eat something and then we're gonna hit the craft store and the thrift store. So this is the hat <laughs> that I made. Oh, if you've watched it on Sienna and the Craftsman, it took me forever because I was trying to figure out the right way to do it. It's actually, because it's double lined, it actually really is super warm. This is the magazine, it's called Sunset. It's a magazine from 1975. I got this at an antique store and I was saying that if I could figure out how to upload this true to size on my blog so people can download it. I'm going to figure that out. I was Googling it, but I don't want to pay for a service that like does pattern transfers. So the material is a fur lined leather, which was would require, you know, to find a place that even sells fur lined leather. I don't know in the 70s where they went, but around these parts, it's not so easy to find. I'm thinking either trying the Goodwill bins and seeing if I could find a furry lined leather jacket or going to the craft store. It's a misty, mystical, foggy morning here in the PNW. 
Okay, I just got to the craft store. I've decided that's what I'm gonna do because I just, I can't bring myself to cutting up a jacket. I just can't. Uh, so we're gonna try to find the material to make the hat. And I was just at a stoplight and there was a guy whose truck was broken down and he was bent over the, the truck and his entire ass was out. <laughs> I have to pee so bad. Why did I do that to myself? I drank so much water before I left and they had locks on the bathrooms with like the key code. Couldn't be bothered. So I'm gonna race home and pee, but I got what I needed and it was discounted 50% off all holiday fabrics and they had a leather and a fur. So it was perfect. Yay, I got it. Okay, I've got to make this work. I'm determined. If you're wondering what's on the screen for today's festive jazz, it's Victorian Christmas night at coffee shop. And then we have the sound bar my dad just got us. So it plays pretty nicely acoustically throughout the house. I have on the jean dress that I got in Sacramento with just my Prada suede. A cashmere sweater my husband got me for Christmas quite a few years ago actually I've had it for a long time we have fur that I was able to get 50% off so it was only five bucks for an entire yard of fur and then same with this five bucks I just picked up some wrapping paper and I went with the dancing deer this is just wrapping paper number one we'll have a few different kinds to choose from Okay, and now I am going to use this pattern to just follow along and cut out the fur. Since I didn't get any fabric that has the fur lining, I'm just gonna use this for good measure to make sure it stays in place. Now it's kind of fur lined. I did it. I made the hat. I went a little bit off script. I didn't follow the pattern because I, in order for it to look the way that I think it would be a wearable hat for me, I had to do it this way. I didn't really want like big leather ties on it, even though I think it's cool. I think it would make me look like a football, even though I still look a little bit like an elf or a football or a cornucopia. <laughs> but it's, it's cute, it's warm, and I made it and I'm proud of it. And I think if my hair wasn't so bushy and curled and big and fluffy, I mean, that's what they said in the actual thing was, but here's where it says bushy hairdo. Anyway, so I would say that this was a success, a successful craft. <laughs> Yesterday, we didn't end up going to any sort of dinner date or anything. The weather was absolutely horrible. I had a migraine and we just weren't in the mood, but we did go get some Christmas presents, which I need to work on wrapping. So that is what I'm going to do this morning. But I do have a doctor's appointment in the afternoon and really it's just, you know, reestablishing a new doctor because my current one is really limited hours and so it's very hard to get a appointment in with her it's booking out to a year ahead and a lot of my agoraphobia symptoms ramped up after my last doctor's appointment when i passed out so it does like start to trigger some anxiety for me and it's something that i have to like prepare for and since i've been in therapy it has been really given me some tools um, on how to get through stuff like that. So I've said I would share with you guys what was has been going on in my therapy. So the tools that I had learned so far from my therapist, first of all, is that if you're feeling really anxious, give yourself a safe space to go. So you have to kind of imagine where your safe space is, create this world or this image or this thought or idea of a place. And I would recommend a therapist doing this. Now, the reason why I'm going to my doctor is I'm having to get approval to start the actual EMDR portion which is a portion that's a little bit more intense. So we've just been building the, the, the building blocks to get me to the EMDR eye stuff, which is gonna be 
more intense and she wants to make sure that I am cleared for it since I do tend to pass out. So we're just making sure that I'm good for that. But she did have me imagine a safe space. I have like, it's I call it the witchy cabin and it's a cabin in the woods. And I've actually done videos where I've pictured it and posted like woods with ferns and fog and a little home. And so that is like where I imagine. She even introduced a few things that could be um, harmful to the area, but it's not gonna harm you like a bear. Like I, I imagine a little harmless bear walking through, a little brown bear, not there to bother me or anything, just kind of walking past the scene. There's coffee being brewed inside, a fireplace is crackling, there's soup on the stove, and there's a cozy little couch with maybe a little wool blanket on it and some puppies. <laughs> I just imagine all of this and as I'm kind of imagining it, my witchy cabin in my safe space, it's just an instant trigger place that I go now whenever I feel anxious. So if I'm out and about, if I have to get in my car and go run errands and I'm not feeling good about it, that is my safe space. And then you guys are my safe space. So having my vlogs and my camera with me and having a purpose and something that I have to do is a huge help. So vlogging has been very therapeutic and my therapist knows all about it and I just wanted to thank you guys for watching my videos. I just wanted you guys to know that that like your gift to me is watching my videos. Watching them all the way through is a big help too just because it helps with my analytics. I've said this before but um, yeah just thank you so much for watching my vlogmas and enjoying it and commenting and following me on my social medias and being supportive over there and hearting everything I do. I just really appreciate those that are out there doing that because it just means the absolute world to me and I've just really been on this like journey of getting to a better place mentally when it comes to anxiety and I feel like I'm really on a good path and that's major because my whole life I've just been ignoring it and drinking <laughs> and now I feel like not that I want it or invite it but I'm preparing myself to be able to handle all things so anyway that's my spiel <laughs> so I have on the lipstick if you've been wondering this whole time I bet you have it's got a nice feel it's a little creamy very traditional lipstick feeling you know just a little creamy not too dry not too matte you can blot it mattify it but it's nice and then I did the sore mac lip liner with it and it seems to match it pretty good and that's it. Let's get into this and do our final, uh, our final uh, one for the week. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's really cute. I like how I'm just like, oh, <laughs> every time I open it because I really have no idea. It's a lip mask. Well, that's really nice. A little lip mask. How sweet. Wrapped and loaded. We'll do an ornament. And something that you can do is grab some glittery nail polish. So just draw your initial with the nail polish. And before it dries, sprinkle it with a little bit of glitter. Now you have a monogrammed gift and you can do their full initial or you can just stick with one. Is it even wrapping Christmas presents if it doesn't look like a craft store exploded inside of your house? This dress, I don't know if any of you remember it, but I thrifted it and it was long. It was actually past the knee, which any dress that lands right here on my knee just doesn't look good on me. I already had my sewing machine set up for making the hat yesterday. So it made it very easy for me to just sew a little hem along the bottom of it. I think I did a pretty good job. All right, doctor's appointment was a success. Why does it look so dark? It's only two o'clock. <laughs> Sunsets at four. <laughs> Christmas cards are going in the mail. This lovely dress. I haven't worn this dress since last year. <laughs> He's singing Christmas Christmas music because it's all I have playing in the house at all times. So we're wearing the Marc Jacobs boots, which I love. Uh, then the harness, and I love that this has pockets. First, coffee. Candy canes.
me on a burrito day. Is this where you came? So I'm gonna come here because my Louis Vuitton purse broke and they say that when your purses break that you take them to a shoe repair shop. Look at the little things. Oh, the little things. <laughs> Santa Lego. Good morning. It's the next day and it's early in the morning still. I'm drinking my first coffee, which usually is a signifier that I'm still half asleep. <laughs> but just to recap last night, we went to the local shops here in our town and that little strip is called Proctor District and that has so many adorable shops and you wouldn't believe it but when we were getting into our car we saw santa and then mrs claus was like i'll take the photo but it was just a funny wholesome moment that we had and we gave them hugs and said thank you and it was such a great ender to our christmas shopping experience so 10 out of 10 best time we have things to open. I have stuff that got delivered for me that <laughs> is Merry Christmas to me. Well, one of them is a Christmas present, but I'm going to open it now. And then one's my Ipsy, and then the other is just a Lilac Street lash order, and it's what I have on my lashes right now. And I've never worn these types, so I'm curious how long they last. I doubt they do the seven to 10 day lash wear. I doubt it, because they're one big cluster on the ends but let me show you exactly what I'm talking about because I opened it and I put on the first pair today. I've got some lashes and I just bought these for myself. I am an affiliate with Lilac Street though and if you're curious of trying them, they're great. I order them and buy them myself because I love them and that's when I apply for affiliate programs is when I, I try a product and I love it that I know I'm gonna talk about it so much. I would never apply to an affiliate program for something I hated. Just keep that in mind. So if I'm talking about it, I love it. But the reason why I went ahead and put these on is because I was doing my makeup today and I wanna see how long these last. So these are the holiday lash this is a second pair i got these for the event that's coming up so i wanted to trial them see if i like them and then if i do love them i'm going to wear them for the event they're called holiday lash they have adorable snowflakes on them they are 12 to 16 millimeter meaning they start at 12 and then they move up to a 16 and that's the way they look they're fun and fluttery and i feel like a little anime character and they're adorable and so i have the second pair but these are the ones i just put on i kept the case so that way when i'm done with these i think these will be reusable and then i also got the icons which are some favorites of mine i just ordered my go-to's and the icons are a little bit more dramatic than most of the ones that i use so i got a pair of dramatic ones and then I got a pair of just basic good old-fashioned these are the originals the first style that they came out with these are what come in the starter pack if you wanted to try it out so give it a go if you're interested it's just really nice especially during the holidays especially if you're gonna be around family or traveling or whatever that you want to just wake up and for the most part your eyes are done like you just can put on some foundation do your base your eyebrows a little bit of lip color and you're done and it's quick and I love that I will tell you I have been struggling to not keep them back on indefinitely because I hate putting on mascara that much but I have been using a serum and I have been taking my hair growth gummies so it's hard it's hard <laughs> I want to make sure that I give my lashes a chance to be naturally long but it's hard so this is a gift from a friend of mine. She had a gift card for Fashionova that she was like, you can have this, I know you would actually use it. And so she just kind of gifted me her card. And I haven't shopped on Fashionova in a really long time because I feel like H&M is really the only fast fashion place that I really shop from. I usually try to stay away, but when it's affordable and you want something new, 
I don't judge that, you know? Now, I really wanted to get myself something to wear on Christmas Day. To me, a Christmas Day new outfit is imperative having an exciting Christmas morning as an adult. <laughs> when you're a kid, you're excited no matter what and you can care less what you're wearing. But when you get older, you have to grasp at anything that brings you joy because you're not a kid and all these presents are probably too expensive and you have bills to pay. <laughs> <laughs> so reality kicks in after the holidays are over, but at least you look cute. So get yourself something nice and we're going. <laughs> Paris Hilton era Juicy Couture style tracksuit in velour. I had to pitch in a little bit just in case anybody was like, wow, how much did she give you? <laughs> like I bought a lot of this myself too. It's like this deep berry color. I didn't want literal red. They had it, but it just looked too Santa. And I want to be able to enjoy this in January as well. And throughout the rest of winter. So I wanted a color that has a little bit of a Christmas flair, but not too much. But yeah, we're gonna try this on. All right, here is the first outfit, the Christmas outfit. I love it. Put on the hood, kind of pull it up a little if I want so it makes my butt look nice. Pockets even up here. I've got four pockets. We've got candy, we've got phone. <laughs> We've got remote control and a spare pocket for cookies. We have some merry, cozy socks with holly on them. Oh, we have three pair. Well, I could start wearing those next week and I'll just save the green ones that will go with my track suit because red will clash so I can wear Santa and the, uh, the argyle ones or the plaid ones throughout the, the week. So I'll, I'll, I'll tap into those next week. We'll put them here by the mini Christmas tree. Then I got a pair of the <laughs> longest pair of fuzzy socks you ever did see, but these are like thigh higher over the knee fuzzy cozy socks. And I had never seen that before. I always see the regular style like crew sock that goes over the knee. So this is gonna be perfect. This I am going to likely wear tomorrow because we are going to the zoo lights with my nephew, my sister-in-law and her husband. And it's gonna be a very fun family, really just awesome holiday activity to do together. What's in my eye. And, uh, but it's gonna be outside. So we're gonna probably get like coffees to stay warm, but I'll need gloves and something really cozy to wear. And this popped to, into mind, but look at, it's just this giant hoodie jacket and it's a dress. All right, here's the giant hoodie. This is so much bigger than the other one that I have. I mean, the other one's big, but this one is big. Look at how many people I can fit in this thing with me. <laughs> Does anybody want to jump in and go to the zoo lights with me? Because <laughs> I've got room. Yeah, see, that looks so much better now that it's harnessed. That makes it festive, right? Having like essentially an ornament on your head. <laughs> so a black hat with the fuzzy ball and it has some silver in it and some warm uggies, black turtleneck or like a turtleneck. And the final thing and the most exciting, I saved the best for last. Ah, it's here, it's here. The party dress, the party dress. I want it to look like a elegant glittery ice queen. I love this and it has a belt, which you just can't you can't go wrong. Look at this belt. This is fun. Are you ready for the Disco Diva of 2024? Look at this dress. So it does have a thing that closes it, but like that's not flattering in my opinion. So what I would rather do is get a really deep V braless, like a, a strapless bra that's really deep V, but still gives me like lift. And then have this go across. I love the glitter. The sleeves are elasticated, so I like that in case I wanna, you know, do this situation. If I get a little warm, you can see through it, so I'll have to make sure I'm not wearing dark underwear. Obviously, I'll wear like a thong. And then I was thinking for the leggings. Gucci makes these black leggings that have the, the G interlocking logo throughout the leggings. I feel like something like that, you can see through them, but that have a design in them would look cool. I think that's the, the 
direction I would need to go. I think nude would make this look like an ice skater's dress if I wore nude see-through leggings. If I wore fishnet, it would be too showgirl. I just need to be really careful. And then shoes. Then we gotta figure out shoes. I'll probably go with a silver shoe that matches this of some sort. And the final thing is this month's Ipsy. You're the main attraction, it says. So let's go one by one, fairly fast. We have Odesite Retinol Hyaluronic Acid Renewing Serum. Oh, wow. I did not realize that this serum was gonna be so, uh, oh yeah. That does have a really soft, nice feel to it. Now we have a Ciate Extraordinary Brightening Under Eye Perfector. It reminds me of the Bye Bye Under Eye. Iconic Enrich and Elevate Mascara. I need something with a smaller wand, and I love that it's curled. That might be perfect for under eye, and I love Iconic London's products. I love their stuff, it's good. We've got the NARS Air Matte Lip Color. Lose Control. This appears to be a brown. I selected some of these things, so I do kind of vaguely remember choosing this, I think. It's kind of this like brick. L-Y-S, Lee's Beauty No Limits Cream Bronzer Stick. Look at that. That is really neat. It's like rose gold. That is dark. No Limits Courage, it says. Look at how dark that bronzer is. Is it that dark? Wow, that is t way too dark. That's it blended out. I can try it. If I'm super tan, I can try that. I love this packaging so much. That's so cool. Mammogram or exam may require out-of-pocket costs for you, depending on your insurance coverage. Okay, I am in the kitchen. I've got all of my ingredients already measured out and laid out. I'm gonna do a little pan of it so you guys can see it. We have three cups of all-purpose flour, a half a cup of sugar, two teaspoons of baking powder, and a half a teaspoon of salt, a half a cup of cold butter, cubed or grated, a cup of heavy cream, one egg. We're using a teaspoon of vanilla. We're adding dried cranberries, now we're going to mix the dry ingredients. Now to the dry ingredients, we're going to add the butter. It says you want this to be dry and crumbly, but not like a dough. And now we're gonna mix the wet. Now we want to add the liquid to the flour mixture. She says to do this with a fork. I'm gonna listen. I'm gonna listen to what mother says. The key is to not overwork the dough. She says make it into a lump until the flour stays and stop because you don't wanna overmix it. That already has a really nice texture to it. Now we want to wrap this in plastic wrap and flatten it out into a disc. All right, I would say that's about an inch thick. Cut the disc into pizza wedges with a knife. That's if you're going traditional scone shaped, I'm doing snowflake to make it festive. I have parchment paper over here ready to go on a baking sheet. And obviously since scones are triangle shaped, a Christmas tree would be really cute for this as well. If you have a Christmas tree cookie cutter. Okay, so now she said this is a good time to push any sort of nuts or berries or raisins, whatever you prefer, into them. And she said to brush some heavy cream on top if you want them to have a little bit of a glistening glazed look. It makes them shiny. And I do have some festive sugary glitters, so I'm gonna do a little bit of the white. And now they bake in the oven at 350 for 15 to 20 minutes. 
All right, well, 20 minutes is about how long it's gonna take me to get out of this apron and these overalls to go pee since I had about two cups of coffee. So I'll be back. Okay, it has been about 18 minutes and they are a little browned on the outside, which leads me to believe that they're ready. And when I push them, they're not doughy. They're actually firm, just like a scone. Okay, I've got the scones out of the oven and they're the exact browned edges that you would expect from a scone. They look, they look scony. <laughs> they look like the real deal. Mm, that is perfect. That is so good. I'm actually gonna have this recipe up on my blog if anybody else is looking for it. And it's just gonna be called Mom's Scones and you guys can give them a go. That's actually gonna have to be it for the day. I have a lot of work to do for the rest of the day and I have to clean my house because we have guests coming tomorrow. So we'll see you guys tomorrow bright and early. We're gonna have doggy guests arriving and I'll be getting ready for the evening's festivities. So for the most part, the excitement of the drop-off has chilled and I think they're nearing nap time. <laughs> so fingers crossed because I want to do some work. As you can see, Otis and Lou have been dropped off and will be with us for the week. So prepare for a very puppy full week coming up leading up to Christmas. Lou is a puppy, so she's not even a year old. She's, I think, seven months old. So she's just pure chaos. Like, she just never stops. So excited to have all of these dogs here. It's gonna just feel really exciting in the house. And it is, you know, there's there's moments where I'm like, what am I doing? But she's so cute and it's just been really- I didn't get that. Could you try again? So I just wanted to try the makeup that I got. Since I got so much makeup from Ipsy, I just wanted to try it all right now in front of you. And even though I do think this concealer is gonna be way too dark for me. But yeah, I think it'll be good for dark circles, just getting rid of any of the like blue I might have under my eye. And I really like the consistency of the Ciate concealer. So that was the first thing I just tried. I think I would, I would, you see how paranoid I am? Like every five seconds I'm turning to see if she's got something important of mine in her mouth. Let's try this. We'll see if it's too dark. I'm scared, but the shape of, oh my God, it's so dark. <laughs> no, please blend out. Oh dear. I love that shape for doing that defining, you know, swoop along the cheek. Ah, <gasps> Sienna, that was risky. Here, we'll use some of it down here too. Pull some of it down because you know we gotta contour the chin like mariah carey hey hey that's the first thing i noticed when i saw that that video of her like as a witch i'm like oh i know that contour and that's the contour you start doing when you get older because of your gobble gobble i hate it oh god she's got the zoomies Nobody cares, literally. Not a single adult dog cares. Now we're gonna do the mascara, the iconic Elevate mascara. Stay where I can see a little one sock. She's got one sock on her foot. To show you guys, it's so cute. I'm calling her little one sock. So far, it's better than my current mascara. The wand is way too fat to be doing lower lash mascara with it. All right, let's put on the NARS Brown Liquid Lip. Even though I wanna try it, I don't know if this is what I'm gonna go with tonight. We'll see how dramatic it is. I don't want it to be too dramatic. I mean, I'm going to the zoo with family, so it's like, you know. I don't want to wear this right now, so I'm gonna take it off. But if you were curious, that's what that looks like. See, I had a feeling that these lashes needed a fox eye wing, you know what I mean? Just like a really sharp edge here, and then just a little bit more into the center. I just knew that that would look good. Look at the difference. 
<laughs> like, look at how different the eye looks on both sides. What a fox eye does. Just, it makes the eye look so big and long. I love that. I love She's a sultry queen. That is stunning. Now I just want to balance out the under eye because I feel like it needs something. My bangs also, they're serving right now. Thanks bangs, I appreciate it. Are you afraid of the stairs? She said I've never seen stairs this big. I'm scared. You can do it. Oh, Lulu, how about if I get you halfway? <laughs> help me, lady, help me. Ready? Good girl. I just dumped out the whole basket to keep her busy. Because <laughs> I was like, whatever, we'll get her to uh, take a nap. I'm going to do... Don't look, it's disgusting, but it's a simmer pot that has been simmered to smithereens. Uh, I'm gonna toss this and to I'm gonna put a new one on at about probably at like three o'clock. Alexa, remind me at three o'clock to put the simmer pot on. So yeah, I'm gonna do another simmer pot um, right before they get here, like an hour before they get here. Oh, coffee party. Oh, you're gonna get me so dirty. A puppy party on the go round. All oh, hell. <laughs> you can't goose. A no goose. A no goose. So this is what I will be wearing to Zoo Lights. I'm gonna be wearing the Ugg furry Uggs and whenever I wear socks with those, the sock just travels down the Ugg and ends up, I end up just taking them off. So hopefully, maybe the socks under the stirrup will keep the sock up, the stirrup down, and the shoe on. <laughs> Here's hoping. Um, and then underneath I just have a camisole. I'm actually gonna put on one more layer before we go, but I don't wanna overheat while I'm sitting here at the house. What I'm probably going to do is say, goodbye now and that way the last bit of this video will just be the music with the zoo lights thank you so much for watching please give it a thumbs up and i'll see you guys on the next one bye It's too funny. Daddy. Ooh, cool. Oh, get up here, bud. There you are.